Hello everyone, it's Allie from Titan and welcome back to our channel. I am here with our second personal break of the evening. Do have two full booster boxes here of the brand new magic set Time Spiral Remastered for Harry F. from Georgia. So thank you so much Harry for letting me open up these two boxes for you. Hope to find you some awesome cards to add to your magic collection. Also, just to give you guys an update on this video, right up there, our first Time Spiral opening from this past Thursday, to tell you guys if you hit 500 likes, I would go ahead and do a live opening of more Time Spiral sometime this week in my Aliana Liliana the Veil cosplay. And as of the time I'm filming this, about 8.24 p.m. on Monday, uh, you guys did get there at 505 likes. So looking at the schedule... Um, there's a lot going on this week. Upper Deck Series 2 Hockey, which I did not expect to release, uh, actually is coming out on Wednesday, so we'll have two cases live of that. So I'm guessing I'll come in sometime on Thursday and do a live box. Maybe I can convince Bossman to let me open up more than just one box for you guys. But that should be very fun, so make sure to stay tuned for that live stream and playback video later this week. The Liliana Cosplay returns with me being about four pounds lighter, so that'll be interesting. Not that anyone cares, but it'll be interesting. But anyways, two boxes of Time Spiral. Those time-shifted foils just keep going up. Uh, we did sell last week the Yawgmoth foil we pulled from, you know, that crazy box we opened with so many different cool things in it. Uh, we did end up selling that pre-sale for $176. Bossman was telling me Yawgmoth foils are at $300 now. The Thought Seizes are at $430. Ponders are at $250. The stuff is nuts, so we'll see. Had a lot of double foil boxes this past weekend. We'll see how the luck goes here for Harry. But let's go ahead and get on into it because this video is going to be long by snapping us into the corner. I've wasted about two minutes already. Very cool. Good job, me. But yeah, let's go on ahead and get on into it. We have yet to find a foil thought seize. This past weekend, we actually, some it was kind of creased. It was weird. Shame on you, wizards. We did find a foil mystic sanctuary. That was the only one that had issues. We also found Bajukabog, which is really nice. Um, the rest is Path to Exile. I remember seeing that one as well. That card's about 75 bucks now. It's just, these foils are nuts. You commander and legacy players are crazy. Anyways, pack number one here for Harry. And let's try to keep up the good luck here with Time Spiral. If you missed that See It to Believe It video earlier tonight... Uh, we did have an incredible pull out of an Avengers box for Andrew T. Did find an inscribed uh, as Cap, Captain America, Chris Evans autograph. But also out of Andrew's box of Time Spiral, because I opened up two boxes for him, did have a foil gemstone cavern. So we saw a lot of nice foil mythics uh, the other night. It's pretty crazy. Firewake Sliver and our token. But yeah, we did actually see a lot of two foil boxes. I think you guys in chat were telling me the average was like 1.3. So most boxes have one. I mean, you can have a box that has zero. Some people were saying they opened up a box and it had zero, which is very unfortunate. But we were seeing a lot of a double foil boxes this past weekend. So that was very cool. Sedge Sliver, Field of Ruin. But I am very curious to see what Time Spiral continues to do. I know I'm hearing that it's a one and done print run, that there'll never be any more supply. And Bossman was saying boxes are creeping up to 300, 330 bucks on eBay, which is nuts explains why you guys went absolutely ham and I have so many boxes of Time Spiral to open this week at 2.20 free shipping. Prime time and a damnation here. Very nice. That explains it. We had pre-orders originally in store for 2.05 um, as they kept creeping up. I think on release date, if you didn't pre-order it, we had it at 2.10. Um, I don't know. I think the boss man is holding some boxes now. He is holding for drafts. We do want to run Time Spiral drafts later in the year when things are looking up. I do plan to hold events, hopefully, in the near future. I think people can start getting their stuff public, like, not age requirements in May here, early May for Florida, so that'd be cool. Just love to hold events. We're hoping to actually have a Modern Horizons 2 pre-release, but, of course, it depends on how public safety is looking. Um, so no official announcement on, the, on that yet. Just, just letting you guys know, if you are in the Tampa Bay area, we'd love to have you come stop by. We are a card shop in Pinellas Park. Restore Balance. We're getting a lot of Mythics here at the front of the box. Crystal Shard. Sting Scourger. So that should be fun. I, of course, will try to drop by, but I used to help Bossman run events. I think Bossman's going to be looking to hire somebody when the time comes to run events. Uh, just because the both of us have so many other things going on. We don't really have time for it, but we do want to still offer events because they're fun. Mary the Cursed, Ancient Den, Ventilish Cavalry. So I'll just be in my hidey hole, my secret second location hidey hole. But I, I do run over there when I can. The shop, I mean, physical storefront. 
yeah, like I said, card shop here in Pinellas Park, Florida. Make sure you drop us a line if you're in the area. Come visit. Always have lots of singles. We have a full binder of singles from Time Spiral. Pact of Negation, very nice. 22-ish dollar rare. Price is holding better, actually, on Pact of Negation than Damnation, which is interesting. At least as of this morning when I was doing TCG Mail. Of course, things always fluctuate. Especially with box prices keep going up i don't see a lot of these really nice rares staying staying cheap i know a lot of stuff really dropped down bossman was really impressed not in a good way but just like wow um cloud key prior to the reprint used to be 40 to 50 bucks now people are selling for like two bucks and that's bossman's pick is to like just buy out people on cloud key <laughs> And that's, I think, Boss Man's pick here of the set. It's like, why is Cloud Key cheap? Also, the day I opened, so Thursday, this past Thursday, I was checking. I was like, a Chroma's Memorial. I remember this being expensive. I was looking. People were selling it for like 12 bucks on TCG Player. It's back up over 20 So I expect a lot of these singles to rebound quickly. So we'll see. I mean, unless Wizards is like, ha-ha, secret second printing. So I don't know. I mean, it'd be great. We'd love to have more. We're already running, like I said, quite low. I think Bossman's stashing a case for draft. Um, we'll see. I honestly, I don't know. Mangara of Corridor. Cloud Shredder Sliver. I'm really liking the set, though, even though I, of course, did not play back when Original Time Spirals was out. I, I first started looking at magic. Really, Amonkhet captured my attention. When I started working here, the first set release that I helped sort and stuff like that was Hour of Devastation. But I was like, ooh, Egyptian themed stuff. What's that? Oh, magic? I feel like I vaguely heard of that before. And I kind of looked into it. I liked it. So I'm more of a newer player. I mean, that's still several years ago. But I don't have I still don't have like a real deck. People ask me, Allie, what do you play? I'd be like, sealed <laughs> pre-release events? Like, that's it. That's all I got in me. I do really like magic. Play a little bit in arena here, here now, then and again. Philon of Havenwood, Trinket Mage. But it's really cool seeing all of these like really nice cards, very good reprints in the set as well. Fungus Sliver, hey, Chalice. Chalice had dipped. Chalice, we sold one today at $39.99. So that's what I'm basing my price knowledge off of. Look at that $40 chalice. Impressive. I'm a top loaded. Chalice gets the top loader. Regular thought seizes, not even the foil ones last I saw were also about $39. For thought seizes. Like you can get other like near mint, like iconic or not. Is it iconic? Was it iconic masters? Ultimate masters? Whatever the most recent masters printing, last time I checked, they're like 18 bucks. But I need it in old border. It looks cooler. Cloud Key. The Cheapsman. Evolutionary Leap and SRAM. Senior Edificer. That is from Kaladesh Aether Revolt Block there. Foil. SRAM. All right. Don't know the price on this one off the top of my head. But I'll go ahead and get that sleeved up. I'm finding most of the time where I'm like, oh, I don't think that'll be much. I don't think it'll be much. And then it's like, I feel like all these foils are at least... $25, $30, like at the minimum. It's crazy. Crazy. Can you imagine if every foil rare was worth that much? And you might even be getting two per box. We'll see. Haven't seen a box with three, although, I mean, if anybody could do it, I guess it'd be me. We pulled absolutely crazy stuff in that past Thursday box. Yawgmoth foil, Sliver Legion foil, regular Sliver Legion. Kiki Jikis are about 15 bucks. Very nice here for Harry. That box was crazy. And a lot, of, a lot of you guys in the comments are just popping over there and being like, this box is crazy. And like, I've never seen anything like it. That was insane. That was insane. In the membrane, we have a damaged walk the eons. Wizards, what? Huh? Just in the middle of the pack, just chilling with like a, there's a, I think I got pulled, caught by a card sorter up there in a damaged corner. I'm actually going to, Harry, I'm going to set it like that. I'm going to see if we have, we should. Like I said, we have a binder full of random singles. And I should be able to replace that for you. Nantuko Shaman Foil. 
That's annoying. I mean, better than it being the SRAM. Like I said, we actually did open up a Mystic Sanctuary this past weekend. That was creased right here. I didn't even see it at first, and chat was like, it's damaged. I'm like, what? Well, that was that was frustrating. Also, update, not sure if you guys saw earlier in the community tab, but that floppy taco curvy Pringle, all of the above mana crypt from that live booster box of double masters for Sean F. Um, I had never seen it happen before. I had heard other people having it happen to them, like especially around release, is uh, the box topper pack falling in between like that front part and then once you, um, once the pack, packer, whatever, I don't know if it's a machine or an actual person, would put on that little, and Harmonicon's about 10 bucks too. The cardboard, the wasteful cardboard that goes on top to keep the packs at an angle, uh, squished it. Didn't have an actual crease mark, but it was very, very close to being creased. There's images of the before and after picture, uh, picture images of the cards. Bossman didn't, for the most part, get it to flatten out. Honestly, I made a joke. It's like, it looks like a Commander Legends card, and it does, because a lot of Commander Legends are coming out a little, little, little curvy. A little curvy, not thick. Just actually straight up curvy out of the packs. That's what it reminds me of. So, like, it's not 100%, but 100% better than it was before, if that makes sense. Um, so, Bossman did fix. Sean's happy. Sean thinks it looks great. So, Bossman fixed it. There was a Urza's Tower? One of the Tron lands and the Mana Crypt, which was actually the one in worse condition. Oh man, that when I pulled that, I was like, I even said, please let this be a Phyrexian Metamorph. Like, please be like one of the um, more garbage box toppers. I was like, oh, as long as it's not a Force of Will. Uh, and then I was like, oh yeah, Mana Crypt's in this set too. Vesuvian, Vesuvian Shapeshifter. I've always said Vesuvian Shapeshifter, but it's Vesuvian. There's no I in there. So, Vesuvian Shape Shifter, Foil Rare. Caravac, the Merciless, Epic Experiment. But yeah, I'm excited to open up more Time Spiral. The only thing I don't like about Time Spiral is it takes so much time to open. I think that's just a me problem. I mean, I love looking through all these cards. But then I look and it's like the video's done and it's like 30 minutes long. And I'm like, why? Why is it so long? Relentless rats. Hey, manifold keys. So we did get two foils here. Another two foil box. I'm going to try and keep count from now on. That way I can see if we're beating the odds here. Like I said, average, I believe, is 1.3. So every three boxes you open, the fourth one, right? The fourth. Is that how that works? Every. Is it one in three boxes has two? Yeah, four divided by three. Yeah, yeah. So one in three boxes has two foils. So it should be like essentially two per case have two. But I feel like we've been seeing higher numbers than that. Especially this past weekend. Felt like almost every box we opened had two. So might just be due for a bunch of single foil boxes over the rest of the week. Do have one, two, three, four, Five, six, seven, and I think there's three more boxes that I have to pull, so another ten boxes or so of Time Spiral coming to the channel in the near future, plus that live opening, like I said, most likely going to be on Thursday. Don't necessarily want to cosplay as Liliana and open up hockey for like four or five hours on Wednesday, especially with all the other new releases. I feel like that'd be good as it's like single thing. Past in Flames. Think twice. Hey, which would mean actually I've been to work every single day because I came in, did a bunch of mail for like four hours on Sunday. I've been here for almost nine hours already today. I work Tuesdays, work Wednesdays, coming Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Look at that, full week. Making the money. Making the money. Opening cards to buy more cards. The circle of life. Hustling. Hashtag Alley Hustle. Sarah Avenger. Intangible Virtue. Looks like actually we're closer to being done with box number one than I expected. Perhaps we won't have endless hours of time spiral tonight. But very nice starting off with a two foil, two time shifted foil box. Also at a chalice, care keep, Zulaport cutthroat, damnation. So some really nice stuff. Pact of negation. One damaged locked eons. It's really weird. That two boss man can flatten out, but that's just. <sighs> It's like, why can't, like, the cards just come out of the pack near mint? Like, that'd be great. 
That's also the reason Pokemon PSA 10 stuff is so expensive. Pokemon cards will come out looking near mint, but like they won't be centered properly. Or they'll have some like weird white corner stuff on the back, which isn't damaged, it's just the way it's printed. And it makes it not technically perfect. Cards are a pain in the butt, man. Cards are a pain in the butt. Anyways, next pack. Hey, a Chroma's Memorial, look at you! Mr. Rebounding Artifact, very nice. Felden of the Third Path, White Mane Lion Foil. So up to four Mythics here. Have seen boxes with three Mythics, I think. Uh, box number two, last Thursday had three. That is the lowest that we've seen. I feel like most boxes are seeing four, occasionally five. I believe that first box we saw on Thursday had six, not including foils. So that was just like another level of time spiral box in general you're seeing about four your time shifted ones are all kind of just mixed so i mean even if it is a reprint of a mythic it's not technically a mythic but like i feel like you should be able to go ahead and count that chalice so like five mythics here heartwood storyteller just not officially feeling though it's a good feeling definitely a good feeling to pull a chalice like i said thought sees very hard to find we've only seen one only seen one out of Nine boxes out of a case and a half. No. Might be out of a case and five, six, depending on what we find here for Harry. Hopefully we do see one or two or a foil or just a box that just every single time shifted card is a... Uh... That's where they all went. Maybe there's just a box out there. Every single time shifted is just a thought seize. Be great for whoever's every box that was. Be horrible for everybody else. <laughs> Be like, I control the market now. I have every single thought season existence. Extirpate. Sanguine Bond. Actually, I felt really bad because I know a lot of these foils are going up. One, actually, I noticed that went down like a couple bucks was Mirror Entity. What Bossman was doing, because Bossman left last Thursday when I was recording. And that's right, I worked last Thursday too. Don't typically work on Thursdays. Joyra, Disdainful Stroke. But Bossman was actually listing foils and stuff from watching the video from his house. So like without being here. So we pulled a mirror entity. And then I'd given, Bossman said, oh, I only I only listed the Sliver Legion and the Yawgmoth. I'm like, okay, you only listed those. So then I gave him the rest of the cards to list. Is I make him list stuff like this. If it's near mint, he can list it. Anything that I needs to actually be evaluated for condition, that's my job. But I make him do that, especially because, you know, he opens a bunch too. Like, I'll open some, and he'll open some, and he just takes all of it and lists it on TCG Player. Uh, so he had to just, like, hey, thoughts he's very nice. Nice, 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 nice. Reality Acid. All right, so we've seen two out of... 10 boxes. The one in five boxes we've seen a Thoughtseize average. Thoughtseize also gets a top loader. And of course I'll be checking prices on these foils after the video Harry if it needs top loaders. I will top load. Sometimes I just put sleeve cards, multiple sleeve cards into a top loader. Same difference. Uh, but everything of course I do take care of prior to shipment. Don't want to sit here and just look stuff up on video that's not very entertaining. Anyways, he listed the same card twice, so I messaged the person on TCG Player. Like, I'm, hey, sorry we don't have this. But good news, you can go buy it from somebody else for like two bucks cheaper. We appreciate your order and apologize for the inconvenience. So, I always hate when that happens. I always hate, because, you know, stuff happens sometimes. Sometimes it's like, we swear we have this card, and then, like, either somebody sold it, like, and then didn't take it off, which happens. Sometimes people are like, oh, I came in, and I, oh, I saw this on DCG Player, and Bossman's like, bring me this. And I'm like, are you gonna take it off? He's like, yeah. And then he'll be like, I thought you took it off. And then sometimes there's just cards that just... I don't know. So sometimes stuff is actually just not there. Can't find it, or things happen, and I press the wrong number. I've done it even on occasion when I'm listing stuff, because uh, I actually use the number keypad. So sometimes I accidentally just fat finger two instead of one. And it's like, oops, we, we don't have that. I always feel awkward having to message people being like, I'm sorry. Hey, Gemstone Caverns. Look at that. This box has been nice. Five regular Mythics, a Chalice, and a Thoughtseize here. Box number one for Harry is Certified Fire. 
it's always awkward having to send those messages. I'm like, I don't want people to think like, because there are people out there that will cancel, which is why I was like, oh, let me check. I'm like, oh, goodness. I would be so stressed out if like, you know, I was expecting the mirror entity to have risen in price, just like all the other ones have been going. I was like, oh, nice. I don't know if that was just like one person like just like throwing it out there. Like, let me just sell it real fast. Put it up cheap. Like I said, it was like two, maybe three bucks cheaper than what we sold it for. But I was like, few, I guess. It's like, sorry, dude, but we don't have your card. But I don't want people to think like, oh, you know, the card went up in price. They're canceling my order to relist it. Like I actually saw a lot of people. I'm not very active in it, but I lurk in this one Facebook group, Verbank City, for like Pokemon. And when in expanded format, so kind of like the modern of Pokemon, um, this one's supporter, so maybe the equivalent of like an artifact, uh, got unbanned. And it's like full art variant shot through the roof in price. Like Wally. It was the card Wally, if anyone's familiar with Pokemon. And someone was like, you know, posting that they bought it and then the seller canceled their order and relisted it like 50 bucks or something. Like, I don't want people to think we're scummy and doing stuff like that. It's like, I actually just can't find your card. Doesn't happen very often, but when it does, I'm like, ugh. Like, actually, I say not often, but it happened actually twice today. We had tried to message the person because what had happened was boss man, what had happened was boss man listed like a ton of triomes from Ikoria and in the Indatha triomes there was a Japanese one that got mixed in so like we had like quantity upon quantity of these things and as it got through to the end I'm like oh that's not English uh, so I was like hey do you want we can give you because the price difference was about two bucks I was like we can give you we can send you this card and give you two dollar refund or we can just cancel it and I didn't hear back from them, so I'm like hey we're just gonna go ahead and cancel it and we're sorry I just I always feel bad I don't like potentially upsetting people. Like some people will be like, no big deal. Some people see that message and don't answer because they don't care. Um, but like, you never know. You know, maybe the person on the other side of the email has a bad day and is just like not in the mood for like, hey, why don't you have my card? Be like, I'm sorry. So that's just first world customer service problems. But you know, it just <sighs> stresses me out. Rata, air to kilt. Leveler, Street Wraith Foil. I just don't like upsetting people, you know? Just like I always want everyone's boxes. Like, I truly mean it when I say I hope you enjoy the opening and love these new additions to your collection. Like, I want people who order boxes to, like, have a good time, love the video, find me entertaining, and get good pulls that they really enjoy. So. Speaking of... If you guys are having a good time, you're enjoying the video, don't forget to go ahead and smack that like button. Sometimes I have to be obnoxious. Honestly, sometimes even when I'm watching YouTube, I literally don't remember until someone points it out. I'm like, oh yeah, I'm supposed to do that. It really does help. It really helps actually other people. YouTube sees that, oh, people like this. We should recommend it more. Helps more people find the channel. Helps you get closer to Liliana like goals, you know? Speaking of Lily, there was a spoiler, a Strixhaven spoiler. I guess Liliana sneaked over to a, whatever the plane for Strixhaven is. I was like, I'm just going to disguise myself as a professor. Because she's hiding from the Gatewatch, right? Or something. I did actually read that first novel, the War of the Spark novel. I was like, it's okay. It's not horrible. It's written like a YA novel. But, like, I didn't hate it. And then I read the synopsis of the second one. I was like, this is garbage. So, like, I the, the first one, I let the first one slide. The sequel to the War of the Spark novel, I didn't, I didn't even bother. But... I know they're, they're like Liliana betrayed us. She didn't. She didn't change back to the good side fast enough. So we're gonna hunt her down. So she's hiding, I guess, in Strixhaven. She looks good as a teacher. Be like, can I take that class? Yo, I don't know what you're teaching, but I, whatever it is, I want to learn it. But <laughs> so that's cool. I'm excited to see new Lily, Magus of the future. Lingering Souls. The top comments on the Reddit post was Liliana the Yale. And I loved it. I loved it. That was a good comment. Go upvote that comment. If you, what is it? R slash magic the gathering. R slash magic. R slash MTG. Whatever the one that actually exists. So. But I thought that was a very humorous comment. Liliana of the Yale. I hope that nickname takes off. Yeah, Safi Eric's daughter. Dovin's Veto.
But I'm very impressed even by single prices holding on the individual, like even non-foil time shifted. You know, you get one per pack. Yes, the set's very large. Uh, so it makes sense. Mangara, Reclamation Sage. But even the Dovin's Veto, which is like a stretch to sell like regular War of the Spark Dovin's Veto at like 50 cents. Like you might sell one every couple months. Someone just wants to buy a play set from all from one person. They'll just be like, fine, two bucks, whatever. They're actually like $2 a piece. It's like, look at that. Quadruple value for literally the same card. Just old border. Like I said, Kiki Jiggies, we've been selling them all day at $14.99. Monastery Swiss beers, like 10 bucks. Joyra and Kasali Pride Mage. Dismember foils are like 95 bucks too. Bossman just keeps looking at all the ones we've sold already and then being like, well, look how much it went up in price. And I'm like, what do you want me to do about it? <laughs> we already sold it, it's gone. Um, so I think Bossman's also probably pretty excited that we met that light goal so we can actually crack more time spiral. Solemn, foil swarm yard. I've noticed on boxes you get two time shifted foils, you're like getting only one foil rare foil mythic. I've noticed that's a pattern. Not saying that that's always happening, that's just been my experience. So if you're seeing you're getting through a box and you've had one time sh shifted foil and one regular foil rare, I'd be like, ooh. I'd recommend you get your hopes up. It's not gonna always work out, but that would be my recommendation. We are steadily moving along here in box number two for Harry. I know I just completely talked over our transition to box number two, but feeling very talkative today. So, why not? Cloud Key, Palace Jailer, and Gossamer Phantasm. Venser and Talrin for our time shifted search for tomorrow. But we're trying to pick up as if any boxes are popping up with our distributor. We do have our reps on notice uh, with our different distributors to just, hey, just go ahead, we'll take it. Uh, so we're trying to get as much as we can. Of course, a lot of other places are trying to get as much as they can. Hey, Gauntlet of Power. Nice. Mortify. Draining Welk. So hopefully we can offer more Time Spiral to you guys. I'm not thinking it'll be likely. I don't think we'll have more. But if we do, of course, I'll always post in the community tab. This week we should have a small restock of Pokemon coming in. Uh, I did mention that last time. Also, as I mentioned at the beginning of the video, Upper Deck Hockey Series 2. I was not expecting it to come out this week at all. And it is on Wednesday. So a lot of that... Absolute Basketball was on the schedule for Wednesday. That did not ship, so I don't know if it's just getting pushed to Friday, which would be a small delay, or it's actually just getting rescheduled for another date. Opening Day Baseball on Wednesday, and Heritage Baseball is still scheduled for Friday. Other TCGs, if like all of that, you just like, was like, Ali, I don't know what any of that means. Why Schwartz Data Live's coming out on Friday, so that should be very exciting. Very good power level set. Ponders are about $23 a piece. I'm going to sleeve it. I don't want it sitting in that pile. It's stressing me out. But even non-foil ponders are now about $23. I say this because we sold one right before I started this video for $23.69. Fun fact. The other part-time employee that we have to do our TCG Billy, uh, he has big brained. And it, it's been working out real well. But instead of just matching prices sometimes, like we typically do, try to match TCG low, or if we have quantity, you know, list a little higher, but a reasonable quantity. Turns out you just list cards. You know, if it's kind of a cheap card in the 4 or $5 range, if you list the card at 420 or any card if you list it ending in $0.69, cents, it sells very quickly. More so than if you just match TCG low. Like, haha, funny numbers. They sell well. I don't know if it's just a coincidence, but I'm just passing that knowledge along to you guys. If you're trying to sell cards, maybe... If it's a little, your, your inventory is a little stagnant, maybe just uh, change some prices to end in 69 cents or lower or raise it to $4.20. Look at that, another pact of negation. Paradoxical outcome. Like, yes, I know I sleeve the ponders, but I didn't sleeve the packs. We'll see. We'll see how how fresh I'm feeling when I'm doing mail. I sh I'll probably pull them out. I do tend to sleeve all mythics as well. And everything's double boxed. And 
Hey, Vesuva, another mythic. It's Holly. I haven't had a foil yet. We're about halfway through here, box number two. Also, the way I pack is everything is double boxed, you know, because we do ship everything. I know some places only ship the hits for sports. I don't know what would be hits for magic, like rares and mythics, maybe. We do ship everything. I also sandwich the rares in the middle of the package. So let's say uh, the post office wants to play football with your box. Regular American football or like actual football. Um, you know, I sandwich it between the commons and uncommons. So, and usually I'll even throw some commons on the other side of the uncommons. So anything that would get damaged is probably not really worth much. Still giant pain in the butt. Really unfortunate if any packages get delivered. I've never had anyone say, though, they've had something arrive damaged. Sudden shock, which I really want to keep that up. I take pride in my packaging. I am the person who handles all the personal breaks because I'm the only person that can, like, figure out what pile is what. <laughs> I don't mind at all. I like doing mail. Sometimes when it's, like, a bunch... Like, right now, I have a couple boxes of Time Spiral just sitting there, and I'm like... <sighs> this is a lot. It's just actually physically a lot. Walk the eons. Hey, true name. But... I am 90, I would say 95% caught up from this past weekend. I think there's maybe three orders still remaining to be packed up from this past weekend. Most likely I'll work on some of those while these videos are exporting. Also do have more breaks to record tonight though, so we'll see. Team or Ascendancy. Because this video looking to be probably about 45 minutes long, if I had to guess, with the remainder of this box and then the recap. So that's going to process for about 45 minutes to an hour. So usually what I do in that time is I'll get started on recording the next video. But if I export while I record, Draining Welk, it does make the export take longer, which obviously makes sense. Errant Doomsayers. So then when I finish that video, I'll still probably have a good chunk of time to uh, let the video export. And I can get that set up ready to hit the button. I don't like letting multiple things export at the same time. Uh, I have had that cause some issues before, so I just don't do it anymore. Unless it's like really short videos where it's like, ah, well, if something happens, I can just re-export it real quick. But is there an uncommon? No, that was a common. Hey, Goif. Goif had bottomed out at like 20 bucks back up to 30 last time I checked. Like I said, box prices are going back up. Box prices, I mean, been climbing the whole time. Uh, but singles are going up accordingly as well, so... I know some people have been able to get their hands on, like, the multi-packs like Target and Walmart, so I'd definitely keep checking your local shop, like, local card shop if they're out. Definitely check your local, just, whatever stores. You know, Target, Walmart, they sell just about everything under the sun. Barnes & Noble, too, if you guys don't know. Barnes & Noble carry, I mean, I haven't seen any in, like, the past year, because people are just nuts. Uh, but they do carry Pokemon. They often have Yu-Gi-Oh! So, if you have a local Barnes & Nobles, go check. They might have some Time Spiral hidden somewhere in, like, the Funko Pop section or, like, little collectible area. Swarm Yard. Tassiger. I won't, I won't, I won't deny it. I'm a little bit nervous here. I was going to say I won't admit it, but I am. I won't deny it, is what I was going to say. Now, we haven't had a foil here in box number two yet. A little concerned. A little concerned. Had some good mythics. We haven't had a foil. Time shifted. But we've only had one regular foil rare, so, like I said earlier, may as well follow my own advice, heed my own advice, uh, keep it. Keep hope. Put my hopes up. My hopes are up. My hopes are like all the way to the ceiling right now. Foil Thoughtseize or Bust, my dudes. Would literally pay for both boxes of Foil Thoughtseize. Just crazy. Glittering Wish, Knight of the Reliquary. I would have not expected that foil to be like $55. Regular Knights of the Reliquaries are like two bucks. I don't get it. I get it, but I don't get it. I just can't figure out these multipliers. Some of them are nuts. Sengir Nosferatu, Cranial Plating. I bet that looks dope in foil. Honestly, I think that's the first Cranial Plating we've seen. Huh. Honestly, don't know that out of the almost 10 boxes... Right? Ten boxes now? Three? No. This is actually box number 11. I don't know that we've seen a cranial plating. If you have seen me open up a cranial plating, you're like, Allie, stop being dumb. Let me know in the comments. I don't know. Honestly, can't remember. I don't think so. But I feel like it'd be weird to have not seen one by now. 
So I feel like maybe it's not possible. I have to be misremembering not seeing one, but I really don't think we have. Coalition Relic Mystery, Mystic Sanctuary. All right, down to the last row of box number two. We are time shifted foilless. What are you? That looks like a foil here. Dryad Arbor, a Yogmoth, and Goblin Engineer. So we did get a foil here. Very cool. Goblin Engineer and a Yogmoth in the same pack. Yogmoths, a regular, I think, are about $18. Definitely nice. And we still have three packs remaining. So out of these two boxes, we've had a Goyf, Damnation, Vesuva, Gemstone Caverns. Uh, we've had three Foil Time Shifted. We've had a Base Ponder, Yogmoth, at least one Kiki Jiki, because I know I keep mentioning the price of Kiki Jiki. We're about 15 bucks. Two packs of Negation. Pretty fruitful. Oh, also, box number one had Thoughtseize and Chalice. I don't know how I forgot those. Definitely some very... Look, look, I just did the recap orally. Very fruitful boxes here for Harry. Herborg, look at that. Another $18 bill. You know, if those existed, it'd be another $18 bill. And last pack of box number two. We have If High Arcanist, Contagion Clasp, and Empty the Warrens. All right, so again, the pattern... Well, no, that's actually not true. I was going to say the pattern held again, but we got one foil. So this box number two is just a bit slacking in the foil department. So, all right, I take it back. Didn't find two foil time-shifted cards. Keep forgetting that... Why is this... Why is it... Wizards! Wizards, why is everything... Is that pack fresh? It's pack broke. But all right, I'm, I'm just moving piles out of the way ahead of time. But let's go ahead and tidy up our placemat here. I'm still using the Yog Moth. There is a request to use the Damnation playmat. Whenever I do a See It to Believe It episode, I like keeping everything the same. Um, just for, I guess, less confusion. I don't know. Um, I like keeping the playmat the same. So maybe tomorrow I'll switch over to the Damnation. Do have that Seb McKinnon secret layer Damnation playmat. Um, but let's go ahead and do our recap here for our time shifted foils we did have three across the two boxes sram manifold key and goblin engineer also had both of these from box number one thought seas and chalice of the void also had one ponder like i said in our regular rares we also had two packs of negation one per box two full rares across the two boxes vesuvian shape shifter and swarm yard and for our mythics we also had a nice variety here on the mythics no duplicates across the two boxes. Very odd last... Well, I was here yesterday morning streaming, technically. Uh, but Saturday night, we actually had two boxes back-to-back. -back. Box number one had five Mythics. Box number two had four. Four of them were exactly the same across the two boxes. So box two, if it had one extra, one extra Mythic, it, I feel like it would have been the same fifth Mythic from box number one. But that was pretty nice. I mean, they were good cards, so definitely not bad to get duplicates of. I think it was like Sliver Legion, Damnation were some of the duplicates in there. It was pretty nuts. This time we do have some variety. Damnation, Wheel of Fortune, right? Wheel of Fate. <laughs> yeah, if there's a Wheel of Fortune in here, that'd be great. Anyways, Restore Balance, Acroma's Memorial, Gemstone Caverns, Acroma, Gauntlet of Power, Vesuva, and Termagoyf. And I already mentioned the uh, one weird damage walk the Eons. We had one Urborg, Dryad Arbor. Swarm Yard. Two packs of negation. We had a Venser. We had two Cloud Keys. Like I said, that's Boss Man's pick at the moment from this set. Uh, Extirpate also, he believes, should rebound fairly well. Life and Limb. Yep, two Cloud Keys. There's the second pack. Just one Urborg here. Urborg is definitely a very healthy price. Also out of our showcase. Not showcase. Time shifted. We did have an Urborg. Or, no. Yogmoth. Potentially our first out of 11 boxes cranial plating. Like I said, I have to be mistaken on that, but I honestly don't remember seeing it. We had a true name, Mystic Confluence, Solemn, even Dovin's Veto, Quadruple, it's regular price, Arcades, Sanguine Bond, Ramanap Ruins, Bloodbraid Elf, Kiki Jiki's down here somewhere, Pine Harmonicon, 10 bucks, Kiki Jiki, 15 bucks, 
like I said, as of the day I'm recording this, of course, the longer the video gets away, either it will go up a lot or go down a lot. Potential, I feel like, to go up. Magic prices are sometimes weird, though. Sometimes stuff just drops for, like, no reason. Well, the reason be no one needs it, but... All my cards are falling. Anyways. That will... Stop falling. Anyways. That'll do it for this video here. We have completed our recap. Took forever. But hey, we got through both these boxes of time spile for Harry. Thank you so much, Harry, for letting me open these on up for you. I hope you really enjoyed the pulls. Love the video and love all these new additions to your collection. Still haven't find it, found a foil thought sees yet. I mean, I'd love to. I'd love to. That is the goal here. By the end of our time spiral openings, I would really have loved to pull a foil thought sees. That would be incredible. But not here. Still had a regular. About 40 bucks. Chalice. Very nice. Nice mythics. Nice rares. And three foils out of two boxes, which is pretty nice. Beating the odds a little bit. Not. I would have loved to have had two back-to-back -back two foil boxes again today. But hey, we still have another box coming up next. So if you want to see more time spirals, see if I can do another two foil box. Make sure to stay tuned for that. But again, thank you so much, Harry, for letting me open this on up for you. Hope you really enjoyed the opening and love all these new cards. All of you out there watching as well, of course, I hope you enjoyed the video too. If you have yet to do so already, I'd really appreciate it if you went ahead and hit that like button. Comments for me, leave those down below. And of course, if you're not yet part of the Titan Cards family, we'd love to have you with us. Make sure you go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Always open up new magic product en masse. Lots of box openings, lots of personal breaks. Also, new TCG products. We're going to be carrying Cardfight Vanguard when that new... They're kind of like rebooting the game. We're, we're, care we're trying to get a lot of that new set. We think it'll be pretty popular. Weiss Schwartz, we're amping up our Weiss carrying since JKTCG is shutting down uh, with Data Live. That's their final set. Also, we have lots of Pokemon, Yu-Gi-Oh! Uh, starting on Digimon, still very difficult to get. And also, a lot of you guys have been asking about Dragon Ball Super as well as Final Fantasy, so we're going to be trying those a little bit, see how it goes. And if you guys really enjoy it, we'll amp up the ante with those. So. Lots of TCGs here. So if any of those, you're like, hey, I want to see Allie open that, make sure you go ahead and hit that subscribe button. But that is it for this video. Like I said, we do have another single box of Time Spiral coming up next. So stay tuned for that if you want to see it. Before I get on into that, though, before I get on out of here and into that next opening, do have to give a big shout out to all of our channel members. Thank you so much, you guys, for going above and beyond with your support of the channel. We really, truly do appreciate it. Do have six Black Label fans, Andin, Bounty Hunter Breaks, Epicenter Gaming, Sean F., Stephen Olivo, and Stephen Bly. I also do have nine Gem Mint fans, Alberto M, Anthony Basileo, Devon, or oops, I forgot Chris Rivers. Ah, uh, I defaulted to my old list. I have to remember. Alberto M, Anthony Basileo, Chris Rivers, Devon, Dusty Archuleta, Jack Geek, Jake Rhino C, Joe Howe, and Michael C. Thank you so much, you guys, for your above and beyond support. And all channel members do have their name shown on screen at the end of every video. That is it for me here in this one. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Take care, stay safe, and I'll catch you in the next video. Bye!